Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. I have a really easy and fun project to share with you today. We're going to do a little bit more with the Simply Zinnia bundle. Uh, if you haven't joined me before, I am Deborah Harrison with Simply Sweet and Neat Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. And I just enjoy showing you all the really fun ways that you can use the Stampin' Up! products. So as you hop on, say hello. Let me know who is joining me and where you're from. All right. So before we get into the project today, I do want just a quick reminder that we have the last chance sale going on with Stampin' Up. Those are products that are going to be retiring in the spring, which is the January through April mini catalog, as well as the annual catalog. Uh, a lot of the items are like 10 to 60 percent off. I say most of them are probably in the 30 to 50 percent uh, discount range. And also, too, there are price increases happening on May 1st. The biggest one I found was the envelopes. Also to cardstock, thick basic white, all the color cardstock that is all going up in price. And I think there's a little bit on some of the adhesives too. So make sure, go check your stash that you have, especially those envelopes as cardstock that you have stocked up on those before that price increase on May 1st. All right, now I am doing something fun for you. During celebration in January and February, I collected quite a few of the watercolor melon stamp sets as well as the Sunny Days Designer Series paper. And I did that with the intention so that I could offer for you this month a really fun project kit that you can get free from me with an order of $75 or more. Now, I do have my host code there showing on the uh, here in the window. However, I really need you to go over to my blog. Let me go ahead and pull that up for you. Let's go to that. If you go to my blog, it's Simply Sweet Ink Designs. If you look for that image for the post showing the free watermelon uh, kit, that will take you through the instructions on how you can claim your free kit because it is a two-step process. One, I should have plenty for everybody who wants one, who, who orders. Um, but just to make sure that I don't run out, I need you to first register. So if you go to my blog, you will see the watermelon link. Click on that. It will tell you how to register first before you go shopping. Because I would hate for you to shop, go shop and you order, and then I've run out. I don't think I will. I think I have plenty. But I'm really looking forward to show uh, sending you some happy mail with the free watermelon project kit. Now, let me tell you what's in the project kit. You do get the stamp set. Uh, you may have earned this during celebration, but if you did, I encourage you pass it along to a friend so that they have the stamp set also and y'all can craft together. You also have a half a pack of the Des Sunny Days Designer Series paper. You're going to have the pre-cut cardstock pieces to make four projects. Three of them are cards. This one is a fun fold card. And there's another little simple card. Just, I love the images that that stamp set makes. Just really crisp, beautiful, mouth-watering watermelon images. And then we've got this cute little watermelon gum holder. It does hold the little 15 pack of the extra gum. And yes, I am going to send you that sweet treat with the gum. And then you're going to get two yards of the black and white gingham ribbon. So that is this promotion from me, exclusively for me, is going to run until Saturday, April 20th, or when all the kits are claimed. All right. So go check that out over on my blog. Okay, what else do I have for you? Okay, so last, uh, also too, I wanted to let you know for May, I had shared with you last week, these are the projects for the May Sweet Creations Club. Now, I did want to let you know my club did reach capacity last week. And uh, but that's OK. What you can do is if you are interested in joining my monthly Sweet Creations Club, just send me a message and I will put you on my wait list. And then you also too, you'll make this cute purse to put them all in. Um, I actually did have a cancellation last week and it's already been filled. But sometimes cancellations, uh, people do have to drop out a club for various reasons. So just go ahead. Let me know if you want me to add you to my list and then I can contact you. I was able to uh, somebody was able to join because I did have a cancellation this past week. All right. So last week I shared with you this really fun pop out panel project. And I decided I needed some samples for my new in, my in color club, which I'll be uh, sending out an email next week and sharing more with that next Friday with you. So I thought I would take the pop out panel concept and make these really, really cute little cards with the new in color. So that's it with the pretty in pink. Let's see if I can test my in color memory here. Peach pie, petunia pop. 
get that right there. Uh, Summer Splash. And I think I got it. I think I got it. Shy Shamrock. So those are the five new ink colors. They're going to be for 2024 through 2026, just for us to enjoy really beautiful pastel colors. I am going to have an ink color club, which is a five month club. And so I will be sharing all the details about that with you next Friday. If you're on my email list, you will get an email so that you can uh, go on ahead and register for that and reserve your spot. All right, so today we're going to make a really fun, let me put that right there. This is my little quick reference for you. So we're going to be making this really cute little seed packet holder with the, this little mini pot. Now these little terracotta pots, they are two inches, very small, and I bought them on Amazon, bought several of them. And they're just really cute to where you can add some cute little treats. This is a very, very, very simple project to make. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's our quick reference if you want to take a snapshot of that. If you are on my email list, then uh, you will get the project sheet in tomorrow's email at 3 o'clock Central Time. It has all the instructions, the step-by-step -step uh, tutorial with the images and a list of all the supplies that I use. <clears throat> Now we are featuring the Simply Zinnia bundle and I'm actually using just the stamp set today because I really don't need the dies. But I always encourage you when you buy, buy it with the bundle because you're going to save that 10%. Now let's go ahead and get our supplies in place. The first thing that we're going to need is a piece of lemon lime twist cardstock. Now this piece measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. And hopefully you can read my directions. It's looking a little fuzzy right now. I'm not really sure uh, what my camera is doing, but we're going to score at half of an inch, which is right here, two and a half inches, three and a half inches, and then five and a half inches. So to kind of help you see that a little bit better, I'm going to burnish all my score lines. So maybe you can see them a little bit better. So we've got that half an inch. We've got the two and a half, three and a half, and five and a half. So we're just basically, we're gonna get two of these holders out of one sheet of cardstock. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is on my sample, I did use the stylus shapes dies, but today I'm just gonna use a one and three quarter inch punch because it'll be much uh, easier for me to do rather than dragging out my die cutting machine. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to punch. And if you notice here, I have a circle. Let me see if I can find my other circle. Here it is. So what I did is I punched out a circle, I lined it up, and then I kind of traced around it. The reason I did that is when I have that punch, um, whenever I do my punch, it's kind of hard for me to see around the edges. And this helps me to position and make sure that I have my circle where I want it. Now, I am kind of changing this just a little bit. So when I did this particular circle, if you notice, it kind of bows out towards the back a little bit. And that is because the rim of the pot is putting a little bit of pressure on this back panel. So to fix that just a little bit, I'm going to move my circle just a little more inward. Let's see if you can see that. So it's not perfectly centered because when we go to put this together, just to show you, this half inch piece is going to be at the back. All right. So that's going to be at the back. So I want my circle closer to me. So it's going to be more inward. That's where I have my circle position. So I'm going to go and I'm going to punch right there where I drew my hand drawn or circle template. All right. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of designer series paper. And this comes from the Flowering Zinnia Designer Series Paper. This piece measures four by five and one quarter. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of position myself here. I'm going to roll that over so I know which side to put the paper on. So I want to put it on this side of the panel. So we're just going to add some glue. Now, if I want it, I could use that really pretty side too. But I'm going to, I want it to just really show, highlight the greens this time. Hello, Zaina. Hello, Mary. Hey, Jan. Thanks for joining me, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this first. Remember, put your designer series paper on first. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue on this half-inch section. 
<clears throat> now here's a tip. I'm gonna fold that flat. See my glue right there? And then I'm just going to lay my panel over just like I would a card base, press down. And then there we go. We got a nice squared off section right there. And there is where my pot will sit inside. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it right there for a moment. And let's see, what else do I want to do next? So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of designer series paper that kind of coordinates. And this piece measures one and three quarter by four and one quarter. And for this, I am going to add some tear and tape because I wanna create like a little pocket. Let's go ahead, where's the end? It's hiding, there it is. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your tear and tape right on the far ends here because we want to leave the middle open to insert our little seed packet. I'm gonna remove that paper backing. <clears throat> okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm just going to position this kind of about here in the middle, just on each edge. And that's gonna create my little pocket, my little packet of seeds to go inside. You can find zinnia seed packets. I found this at Dollar Tree. You can find them usually at like your local hardware store that has plants. Any of your nurseries would probably have them. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decorate up that little pocket band. And so what I did is I chose to cut out, manually cut out one of the zinnia flowers from here. You have lots of options on here. I'm choosing to use this one right here that I cut out, but you can actually cut out two singles and you can lay, overlay them for your own zinnia flowers there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these up with dimensionals and I do have a little bit of a tip for you. When you do this, there's a couple of things I learned. One, I learned to move the hole a little bit closer to me, to the front, so it can uh, take the pressure off from the rim of the little mini terracotta pot. But also, too, is I want to make sure that my flowers, my zinnia flowers, are actually over. So I'm going to put my pot back inside. And then I'm going to put my zinnia flowers right there, okay? The reason is, is because if you have your zinnia flowers that go below the pot, because they're on dimensionals, they're going to kind of pop your, you know, move your, uh, your little terracotta pot forward and you're going to get that bowing. So we want to minimize that as much as possible. So we have that. Now we only have a couple of other things to do. And that is to take our last piece of designer series paper. And this piece measures... Let me see, where are we at? One by four and a quarter. And I, and this is going to be for the sentiment. We're just going to glue it right here along the front band. There we go. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. For this, I'm going to take a piece of just regular basic white cardstock, and it measures five eighths by three and seven eighths. I'm going to take the sentiment that says sending flowers and thinking of you. That's from the stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp in memento black. And I'm going to glue this on. I think this would make just such a sweet little gift. Or for my craft fair people, this would be a fun little uh, item to sell at your next craft fair. Or if you have, if you do retreats and you're doing something with flowers, this would be so cute. All right, so here we go. We've got that. Then I'm going to do two other things. One of them is I want to add a little bit of bling. And so I'm going to take my adhesive, my shiny sequins, and I'm just going to add right here just a couple of my sequins bling it up a little bit then what i like to do is i like to secure my pot here because as you notice it was kind of moving around right so i want that to stay stationary so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a dimensional if you need to you may need to but i'm going to put a dimensional on the bottom i'm going to set my holder back up straighten it out and then i'm going to just press down and when i do that it doesn't move as much it's, it's much more stable. All right. And the last thing I want to do 
add my little treats. I did use like a three by five bag, whatever you have works and just stick that in there, decorated that with some cute little ribbon. How cute would this be? Yes, a teacher gift would be so fun. And for, oh, forget me not seeds. I love that, Zaina. That's awesome. All right, guys, let's see. Next week, I am going to share with you, this is all that I'm doing with the Zinnia bundle. Next week, I'm going to start playing with the new in colors. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, so come back, uh, join me again at three o'clock central time next Friday, and we will play with all those new colors. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. We will see you next week. Bye, guys.